a platform for heritage, cultural, academic, art and social discourse to celebrate and reflect on world-renowned uh, trumpeter, band leader, composer Hugh Masekela's philosophy, his work and contribution to the liberation and betterment of society. That was the third annual third Hugh Masekela lecture put together by One Stop Events and Project Management Company, The Right Associates. The company invited sculptor, poet, writer and academic professor Peter Kantuli to deliver the lecture and he joins us now to tell us more about this past Wednesday's event. Prof, good morning. Good to see you again. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Let's talk about uh, the first meeting with the Right Associates about this. What was your first thought when they approached you to say, please deliver the third uh, Hugh Masekela lecture? And when they said uh, you'll deliver the third uh, Hugh Masekela in a lecture, I just stood down and stopped. And I said, that's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because uh, you and I are not just only friends. We are blood cousins. Yeah. So I know just so much about uh, you know him. I said, if I speak and I praise him, people will think it's just simply family pride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the yeah. title: African Cultural Renaissance, Decoloniality, and the uh, the Coloniality of Being. What is the significance of that title? The significance of the title is that uh, when you are colonized. The colonizers empties you of your thoughts, of your ideas, mm. of your education, of your systems, of your religion, everything about uh, you know you. So that in other words, you don't exist your life. You are, you are living somebody else's life. Mm. So the issue of Renaissance is to seek your own re-existence. You need to bring back the issues that uh, colonialism has removed. Our education was tied to economics, was mm. tied to religion. It was it, uh, tied to sport. It was tied to everything else. It was completely interconnected. And then they destroyed that. Our culture and our history has been told by us through storytelling, you know, through art, through a variety of things. Those were disrupted. So the African Cultural Revolution, I mean, the uh, Renaissance, therefore it means the, uh, the refocusing of our energies and our minds onto something positive, the renewal of our values, mm. the remembering of the dismembered uh, societies that had divided uh, us, which was a dividing rule, uh, the reconstruction of our, of our society. Uh, then when I speak about decoloniality, decoloniality means that uh, we have decolonized apartheid. We have mm -hmm. decolonized British imperialism, but what remained was decoloniality or coloniality, a state of mind which foreign uh, you know, you know, education and culture was infused on us, so that in a sense we feel uh, absolutely inferior. I'll give you an example. Yeah. A, a white boy I met in Switzerland said he was traveling from uh, Soweto to town, and he got into a taxi, and there were schoolgirls in, in there laughing and joking with themselves. When they saw him, one of the girls said, we, we need to behave right now because yeah. there's a white person in mm. here. These kids are about 13, 14. Why would they actually react when there's a white person in it to actually change? They've not been involved in apartheid. They've not been anything. But it is through the coloniality in our minds that we pass on to our, our children. Mm -hmm. That's what the topic uh, wanted to say. Yeah. We, we need to reconstruct ourselves, find ways of dealing with ourselves. You look at ourselves, we go to parliament. When you get to parliament, it's going to be a EFF uh, uh, moving out and shouting. You are going to have DA you know, saying something. Then it becomes kind of chaos. Mm. Then we say, hey, we are being disrespectful or anything. We don't actually realize it because we have taken a very wrong model of uh, a system of parliament and a system of, uh, of government. But when we come out of parliament, we go to Lohutla. Yeah. Which is a total contradiction because Lohutla is a place where you go in there to reach consensus. Yeah. Uh, the, the national interest comes paramount. So in other words, uh, what Human Sikela's Foundation says is like, Let's change parliament. It's a parliament, let it be a Lehutla. Mm. Anybody who's a member there, whether you're opposition or anything, you get in there in order to find a debate, a consensus, rather than putting everybody else's uh, down. The national interest becomes paramount. 
All right. <clears throat> Prof, thank you so much for talking to us. It seems like we run out of time when you and I have these conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, sculptor, poet, writer, and academic professor Peter Kanturi delivered the third annual Hugh Masikela Lecture at the University of uh, Johannesburg. So we're to campus this past Saturday. All right, let's take a quick episode.